So I'm going to continue from uh, with the chapter on data access objects. Uh, very briefly, what I want to say, although you need to read the the book to to know what's going on here, but uh, in a very small nutshell, what we're going to do is change the way Newsfeed Servlet works. As you see here in the doGet method, when the Newsfeed Servlet runs and the connecting client wants the Newsfeed for the site that uh, what we do is we make a connection to the database which we did in the last chapter and we issue a an SQL select command and get a result set iterate through the result set here pull out the data from the result set for each news item from the news item table and uh, create an XML document based on that so we're going to change this uh, rather than issuing this SQL statement directly and iterating through a result set we will use what's called a data access object and uh, access the data through this pattern called a data access object so there's some explanation here about what's going on I'm going to skip over that and um, let's just go ahead and follow the instructions Here's the uh, news item class. We need to create this. We're going to create this in a package called publisher.data. Let's go ahead and do that. So it's not publisher web. I'm going to go up to here under SRC. I create a new class. It's going to be a news item, and this will be a publisher.data. Let me just check that really quickly here. These, um, this will be the news item class. There we go. And then we're going to create a data access object down here next. All right, this looks good. And uh, the news item should have the following member variables. And if you see down here, we, we need to generate getter and setter methods for those variables. And uh, let's do that. I think we go into source, generate getters and setters. Here they are. We'll generate getters and setters for these three items. And... Um, there's a location. So insertion point after URL. That's good. Let's do that. There we go. So we have our getters and setters. Just uh, maximize that. Put some spaces in there. That's a convenient uh, code generation facility built into Eclipse. There's our news item. And then we have a data access object. This will be used to, uh, as a parent class. And our subclass, we'll have a subclass called news item DAO. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's create this under data new class a data access object. There it is. Let's take a look. Here's the suggested code. Let's go ahead and grab that. Once again, there's discussion about this code in the text. That's not something that I'm covering in the uh, in this video. So, to understand what's going on here, you will need to uh, read about that. I didn't do that right. I need to paste over top of everything. There we go. See if we get a build. Yeah, no errors on that. Good. And uh, here the, the text explains about um, this data access object and that it needs to be 
initialized, the data access object class needs to get a reference to the data source. So let's go ahead and do that. This is done inside of the init class. So let's go back to there. Find the init class, which is under publisher.web. And uh, let's go ahead and look at that. So when context initialized to runs, we're going to pass in this uh, this command, and th this one we'll no longer need. So the newsfeed servlet is not going to interact with the data source directly. It will instead get a reference to the data access object class or the news item DAO class, which is a subclass. And so we're going to take this out in advance. Uh, this needs to be resolved. Let's import uh, data access object from publisher.data package. We need to do that because we've place the data access object in a separate package from init. So here we have that dependency injection style coding and where we um, where the object that needs the service just has a set method and we call into it and insert that service from an external uh, source. So once again this um, we don't need this uh, anymore. This has to be removed. Now we need the news item DAO class. This is going to, as you can see in this code, actually it doesn't say it down here. We need to create this class and it will extend the data access object. News item DAO. Let's go ahead and find that. This is uh, in this package. It's a new class. Now the, the parent class is going to be the um, news item DAO. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, data access object. We can put that right in here. Probably we don't need it to be fully qualified, although we can do that. I'll do control spacebar on that. Hmm, nothing on that. This is not an interface. Let's, uh, this is the news item DAO. I think we're okay there. Let's finish on that. And uh, not a problem. Builds. There's a find method. We need to add that to the news item DAO. Sit here. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to just uh, clean that. I'm going to do this organize imports. Rather than doing it individually one at a time, Let's do this all as a, as a group. So Java SQL connection, uh, we want that. And there it is. This read method, ah, oh, so this needs to be added. This find method depends on um, this read function, which we'll now add. This is a description of what's going on. Here's the read method. I'll put that up in the front. Just do organize on that. And everything builds. Looks good. Here's find all. This this uh, we use to get every news item from the database, which is what we will do in the beginning. This is find. And I'll put find all second here. Both find and find all uh, rely on the read uh, function. That a read function is made private here because it's just an internal function that uh, the find and find all use. 
So we need to uh, import these. Uh, let's get that one in there. Everything builds. Now we need to modify the news feed servlet. And uh, we need to get the, um, the news feed uh, data from the um, news item DAO rather than from the database or rather yeah rather than from the database directly. So let's take a look at that. Here's the um, news item. We don't need that. Just a news items news feed servlet. So let's take a look here. <coughs> this is uh, I think let's study what it is. So basically we we get a list of news item here and then we create an iterator and we iterate through th the list of news items and construct uh, then we add you know we have a synd entry we basically construct a synd entry which is entry and then we add that entry onto the entries collection of of synd entries so let's see where would we put that so we basically get this so that um, here we need this this we need let's stick it right in here this uh, this is the code that we're replacing remember we don't need this iterating through the air this this code here is where we construct that that synd entry and add it to the entries as so as we saw already we do that here so this whole block of code is being replaced by the new block. Now we have to import these items. This iterator. This is n from this Java util. That's the uh, Java util is a package with the Java data structures in it. This is an iterator to iterate through a data structure. And that's uh, that's that. Now we have some warnings here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's remove. Let me see if we can do that. Let me see if I do a control one if that's going to work. Yeah, removed unused import. Hmm. Only does one at a time there. So just go ahead and delete these try to get rid of the warnings there we go and the data source we don't need that anymore the warning gives us uh, some help on that one and the set data source this uh, method is also not not used anymore there it is we have another warning data source we don't need that as an import there it is Let's continue on. Uh, we're ready to test, actually. Everything has been uh, set up. Let's go to the manager. Publisher. Let's reload. And then uh, test that. Looks okay. If we go to publisher directly. Still working out all right. That's it.